Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cutting Rocks with Joe. Today, we've got some agates from the Arkansas River and from the local playground where my daughter likes to play. We'll see what they look like once they're sliced, but I wanted to show you guys the initial product. This is not an agate. I don't believe, but it is some sort of jasper, or maybe it is an agate. I don't know. It's very purple. Cool. Mm hmm. And last, I dropped it. Last but not least, I'm going to do this guy this guy so that one i'm excited about see what the inside looks like the in outside is a bit uh crunchy what's it called porous so i'll cut it right along that seam there Okay, half of that rock went flying into my pool and then I went digging around for it and accidentally uh, pulled out my plug and drained my water. So I went ahead and got new water. Oh, right, here we go. I've got them on a piece of plywood here from least agate to most agate and I'll dip them in the bucket but other than the one that fell apart there I haven't seen what's inside so uh, you and I are gonna see at the same time what is inside these so the exterior is pretty cool and it did chip right there but Okay, um, a little bit of red in there, actually, but no, no bands or swirls or anything. All right, got got the red purple one, huh? There's also a little bit more of nothing. Not sure why. I think it's the reflective reflective surface it's not focusing on it okay me nee. why we did the worst to the best all right got a very yellow agate nodule I'm gonna move this away from the bucket maybe that's the issue okay now we're talking getting some bands in here they're a little bit light but they're definitely there I may try to polish that one up a little bit on the flat spot okay got another little ghost ish agate Ooh. okay it's got some mossy it mossiness to it I wasn't expecting that from this Nice. I'll polish that one up too. All right. This one is these agates. These agates are usually a little bit brown, as you can tell, but they always have colors and stuff. So the insides are, hmm. It just looks like the, um, when it was being formed, there was so much like sandstone or something in the water, sand in the water that it left just so much behind i wonder if you could like because the agate's really hard and the sandstone's soft if you could sandblast these 
and they would come out as like these forms. That'd be interesting. This one, certainly a mystery. Um, definitely some mossy agateness to it. Okay, not bad at all. I like the the reds in there, and there are some swirls and stuff. Some holes as well. Not bad. All right, in our final one. Gotta love those back shots. Our final one here. This guy. I'm. A, ooh, saw a sneak peek. All right, you guys ready? Oh wow. Okay, I saw this blue and red as a sneak peek. There's quite a bit more sand in there than I was expecting. I wonder if that would come out as well. Really nice colors though. I'll still try to give it a polish. But I really wonder if a little sandblaster would actually take all that sand out. And make it look really neat. Someone let me know if they've ever tried that before. But. Alright. If I polish them, I might post some pictures of them. But otherwise, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Subscribe for more. Bye.